transition from night into day is always a very chaotic one, full of drama. So it's a question of how you can manage that without making mistakes. I think because there's so much chaos going on right now, the race is really beginning. Normally the time in the morning is also so-called happy hours because the, you know the sun is coming up, the, the track is warming up, but the air is still cold. So normally the cars are good on aero, good on engine power. Unfortunately, we had this issue on 92. Had a little lockup uh, in Sumul Sun Corner, and then afterwards having a big explosion on the tire, which ripped the car to parts. The guys are amazing. They're so fast. They're so efficient. I owe these guys a lot, and um, yeah, I'm just so sorry for this to happen. Lost almost three laps now. Cars back in the race, but yeah, we have to see what we can do from there. Now it looks like that the Corvettes are a bit out of the game, and at the moment we are fighting with a Ferrari for the victory. It's quite tight. We hope to have a good car at the end for the last four and a half, five hours. Let's see what we got. Uh, we close the gap to the Ferrari. And now definitely we are in a fight. We need to be capable at one point to be just behind them at the right moment. Happy with P2. Podium at Le Mans is, uh, you know, pretty special. This is my first Le Mans. To be on the podium is, uh, I have no words. I mean, it's the last year of the RSR. I think that car deserved, or the whole project deserves that victory. No, it's a great feeling and, and I'm extremely proud of everybody. This RSA is quite special, you know, to win with her here, uh, it's a nice, nice achievement. The car was a rocket. We have had some bad luck over the years, but Le Mans is choosing the winner. This time it was us. <laughs> <laughs>